Greetings and salutations, everybody. My name is A Far Cry Away, and of course, I'm the guy that makes all those Killing Floor 2 update videos. Or at least I used to. Um, honestly, I've kind of moved on from Killing Floor 2, obviously. I've not really been covering it a lot recently, but, uh, I, I, like I said, I'll still cover, like, major, major updates. And, uh, this one is pretty freaking major, guys. Like, I'm talking, this is, like, the biggest update we're gonna get. Now, it's going to be definitely hype. But it's also going to be a little bit disappointing. But I'll explain it all as we go. First of all, let me just say right off the bat. just Let's just throw it out there. Mrs. Foster's fucking bat. Just let it sink in. Sorry, she's my favorite character. Next to Mr. Foster, of course. They're really just the tag team of badass, you know? Um, so Mrs. Foster's going to be back. And not only is she back, right? She's going to be voiced by Claudia Black. Yeah pretty uh, major video game voice actor seems like I am always saving your ass well it is an ass worth saving <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to that like that's really cool but of course we live in the year 2018 so not everything is gonna be good news <laughs> and uh, unfortunately this means that we have to pay for her as content so you know how we were, like, promised all those free characters and stuff? Well, we aren't quite getting that. But, uh, you know, it's okay, I guess. I mean, they, they've they already got my money, right? Like, ethics be damned. I'm already going to be supporting this content because she's going to be the only person I'm playing as from now on uh, when she gets released. But, you know, there's that, okay? Um, apparently they're saying that Mrs. Foster is going to be our first fully voiced character joining the Killing Floor 2 roster. Um, her voice is going to be localized and supported in all the languages. And they say, while we continue to look at additional characters and costumes for the future, Mrs. Foster will be serving as our test with the community to see if this type of fully voiced roster edition is something that fans will continue to want to see added as paid content, or if we want to see more characters slash costumes such as Dar and Commando Chicken, which do not require additional voice acting. And then I'm going off of what they're saying there with my own opinion. I think because they're having to pay for all this voice acting, which is not only just paying for the voice actors, but for the localizations for those actors, and then also for the time recording and the booths and all that editing they have to do. Like, there's a lot of work that goes into it, and I'm not, like, saying, give me everything for free. I'm not, like, super entitled. But at the same time, it is kind of whack that we have the whole marketplace, and yet... They still need money for content. I don't know. That's why that's why I'm not really doing the KF2 videos as much anymore. I just feel like there's this huge overabundance of all this marketplace stuff that's in updates, and I don't know, it just kind of triggers me a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> it's not like I can't support the game, and I have supported the game, and you know, I've bought stuff in the uh, marketplace before. I, I just wish more stuff was coming out that was... Uh, you know, stuff that sustains the game's popularity and its player base. I don't know. This is getting way off topic. Uh, I might make a personal opinion video later that you guys can, like, agree or disagree with. I understand I've got some controversial opinions on KF2 right now. Don't want to spoil the fun, though. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the next really big thing. So, we've asked for it, and they're going to deliver it to us fucking finally. It's Player Perk Prestige. So they say, players who have worked for a level 25 perk can now choose to prestige it, taking it back to level 0 to work their way through it again. Those who choose to do so will be rewarded with increased leveling speed, additional vault dash, an upgraded perk icon, as well as a prestige perk knife. And they say dedicated players will now have another additional way to stand out and show off. There's no gameplay changes involved with prestiging, and players are not required to do it. Okay, so first of all, thank god there's finally prestige. It'll give me a reason to actually play the game again. Um, I've had a lot of complaints about replayability. I, I think there's a ton of replayability in KF2, but if you're just playing vanilla, like especially on the PlayStation 4 where there's really no like workshop content, the game can just feel really monotonous. And having prestige is just that one little extra thing that can kind of keep a player invested and keep more people online on the game. It's been a while, but I'm glad we finally got this. Um, sure, 
I mean, it seems like you really just get like a knife out of it and a upgraded perk icon. I hope they expand upon this system. Like maybe they won't. Because I feel like a lot of people beast mode through the second prestige pretty easily, or the first prestige rather. Um, just like in Call of Duty, you know, we're gonna have people who are going to be max level field medic, you know, prestige one the week after this update comes out. So I, I would like to see multiple levels of this, but then again, they haven't disclosed, I'm sure, everything about this system or where they want to go with it in the future. And then finally, another massive announcement is, they say, do you have a favored weapon that just doesn't make the cut for your late game arsenal? Another major community request is now in development and coming with the next update. It'll be our first version of a weapon upgrade system. With this iteration, players will be able to spin Dosh not only on new weapons, but to upgrade an existing one to improve its damage. In some cases, this will also add to the weight of the weapon being upgraded, opening up a new late game loadout option. Almost every weapon in the game can be upgraded from tier 1 onward. This does not include grenades or knives. Also, as part of this change, traditional tier 4 weapons will also be adjusted to tier 3 weapons that can be upgraded to tier 4 weapons you know and love, and tier 5. Our goal is to add more options to the system to allow for greater weapon changes as we move ahead, but it'll be limited to damage and weight for this update. They say be sure to let us know what else you feel the system needs once your trial or once you trial it out in the beta or update release. So yeah. Alright, so we have a lot. Uh, we have perk uh, prestiging, we have weapon upgrading, and we have Mrs. Foster being voiced by Claudia Black. So uh wow. Um, this has been the first update, and see, here's the thing, I feel so, I feel awful, right? Like, I'm so jaded right now at this point with KF2, but this is actually the first update I'm, I'm genuinely excited about. I know the last one I was pretty hyped for, and I really did say I was hyped for it a lot before it came out, and it was great. I mean, I love the Firebug, I love, I love the Mac-10, and Dar is awesome, but honestly... This update has me more hyped because these are all things that I really wanted. Um, Mrs. Foster, obviously, I really wanted back. Um, the Prestige is something I really wanted for the game from the beginning, like from early access. The first few days playing the game, I was already like, man, I hope I can Prestige these. <laughs> um, it's been a long time since those days, and my excitement for this game has died down significant, uh, significantly since then, but it is pretty hyped to finally see it be... Uh, implemented. This weapon upgrade system, while kind of, uh, you know, in its earlier phases, they do say they're going to expand upon it, so I'm pretty interested to see how that can change the game. There's a lot of weapons in KF2 that I love, but I can't really use effectively, especially in harder difficulties and later waves, and having an ability to make something as a little bit underpowered as maybe the Varmint rifle become super good is kind of an interesting prospect, and it would only be made better if we could have like physical attachments be added to the weapon over time. However, I do feel like that might be a little bit too much to ask for, but then again, you never know. All right, so that's been the uh, what we were up to update called a prestigious upgrade from uh, Killing Floor 2, and uh, wow, yeah, that's all I gotta say, wow. <laughs> uh, some might say too little too late, I honestly say it's, you know, finally. Finally we got stuff that I'm hyped about. Uh, hopefully this kind of stuff brings a lot of the community back to the game, and hopefully this also kind of gives the PS4 players and Xbox players more incentive to keep playing the game, since they don't have a whole lot of content to dive into. Being able to pr prestige with your friends and stuff might give you some reasons to jump back in. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you do want to see more Killing Floor 2 in the future, beg me in the comments because right now, like I said, kind of jaded. Um, but I am going to look out for you guys. I know a lot of you subscribe for Killing Floor 2 content and so I will, you know, try my best to keep you all up to date on the game uh, to the best of my abilities. And thank you so much for watching and sticking with me through all these years of this game from beginning to now. Uh, I am... As much as I don't play it anymore, I'm still in it till the end. Um, I still think of myself as part of the community. Uh, whether I'm infamously noted as one member or not, I don't care. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. You guys are awesome. You guys are really supportive. 
Uh, and thank you. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.